Here we go, back again with another match day vlog. Yes, Sunderland, welcome, Burton Albion. Yes, Burton Albion. Never mind your Burton City, your Burton Towns. It's Burton Albion to the Stadium of Light tonight. And hopefully Sunderland can finally get a victory. They haven't won in five games. We've drawn one and lost four. The last time we had a game that we won was against Portsmouth back in 2016. Well, it feels that far away. But yes, Sunderland are at home. We offer a vlog. We offer a vlog. I'm off for a pint. I'm going to get some food with Wincy and join us in the pub. But team news today. I've got this feeling we are going to revert to a five at the back. Three centre-backs. That's a feeling. I've got a feeling it's going to be a good night. Yes, a good night. A good night. Because I've got a feeling. Right, so I think Patterson. Well, I know Patterson. Oh, is Hoffman going to be in goal or would you bring Hoffman back? Have Patterson, Patterson, right, Bart, Doyle or Jamajli. Would Jamajli come in if, if Bart's not fit or if Doyle is over the top? So back three, Hume Serkin. Is Serkin the guy to be there? Does he not need a rest? Would you not play Gooch as a wing back? Then we have Winchester, Matete and Pritchard, Stewart and Defoe. But will he go that system? Will he go 5-3-2 or will he go 5-4-1? And maybe he's cross off the phone, put Neil in there or even Clark. What's going to happen? We'll soon find out tonight. But I know, I know it's going to be five at the back because we can't keep playing four because we're shipping too many goals. And one more thing that's came up before the game. Apparently last week it was, oh yeah, it was mentioned that we are going to put, we are thinking about putting season card prices up next season. Season card prices, but you're taking the fucking mick. Sorry, pardon me, friend. I try not to swear. I do apologise. I swear too much. <laughs> Why? Why are you putting up the season card prices? That's what's in the pipeline. This has Madrox wrote all over it. Madrox wrote all over it. This should be frozen. You know, your gas and electric bills are doubling. Prices for a pint is going up. You can't get for a packet of crisps now. Can't get six for a pound now anymore. Six for one pound fifty in a lot of the shops. Prices of crisps are going up. Chocolate bars are going up. All, you know, your, your food, your, your, your essential food shopping's going up. And also your petrol's going up. Everything's going up out there. So, Stuart, Donald, Charlie, Medfin, don't you dare put those prices up. Or, otherwise, I'll be having a word with KLD and money job. But hopefully, we don't put the prices up. We've got to freeze the prices for another year. Yes, freeze the prices. We're in fucking League One. This is going to be the fifth season. Season if we stay in next season, you know, we're paying more for less. Yes, we're going to be paying more money with season card prices for less quality of football. Because let's face it, it's been garbage, but not tonight because we're going to win. We're going to beat Burton 3 1. There's my score prediction. What's my train of thought? See you later at the pub. I'm going to have a good time. Yes, a really good time. See you in a bit. Here we are heading towards the Belmont, get a bit of food and a couple of pints. And if you want to get the spot is Belmont, it is. Five star rating. Here in the back of the spot is there's a couple of dodgy characters. It's Jonathan Witsy Witsy. Have you recovered from Saturday's pub crawl? Fucking just I. Just. Can you remember the second half of the match? I can't remember the second half of the match, I can't even remember in the bus on the way back. I have to do a pub crawl part two soon, won't we? Right, March the 12th. March get, the 12th, get pub crawl in. part two. Get tuned in. Are we going to beat Burton tonight? Because we haven't won in six games, right? Six so, games I ago we beat Portsmouth, didn't we? I hope we put them beat this time, but I'm saying 2-0, but... 2-0 to Sunderland? 2-0 to Sunderland, aye. Are you a bit cold there, Jonas? Yes. Are you cold? I'm going to be cold. Here. Eh? Well, the doors have locked itself. Oh, I know. <laughs> Pardon me. I said something, but I'm, I'm very doubtful. You're very doubtful. Uh -huh. Miss Fire Doubtful. Right, Miss, Miss Fire Doubtful. Miss Fire Doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtful. Yeah, Miss Doubtful. That's it. Mr. Doubtful. Jonas, are you doing a jog? Are you doing a jog? What's the score going to be tonight? Uh, not no high hopes. No, what, what, what? No high hope. No high hope. So we get. High hope. High hope. We're it's off to the match. match. We go. What's the score going to be? Then? 3-1 to Burton? Probably just lose again, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's all doom and gloom with Jonathan. Oh, it's hurry. 
here outside the pool, what's the matter? Sit there, you've got there, I've got a barrel of laughs. Having a barrel of laughs watching the sun, man. <laughs> where'd you park it? Where'd you park it? Where'd you park it, minibus? It's <laughs> fast. You want some taps? Make some time up. I'll get this one. <laughs> On the minibus with Rincey. Rincey, what happened to the bus driver? He's fucked off a box of tabs, hasn't he? <laughs> He's pulled over the minibus to get some tabs. Where'd you park Never mind. Minibus? It's a little minibus. We're on the minibus. Where'd you park? What? Give me your four pop wires there. Rincey, you've got a magic trick. What's the magic trick you've got? Rincey's magic trick. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> Pulling toilet roll out of his pocket. <laughs> where'd you park your, where'd you park your, where'd you park your minibus? Where'd you park your minibus? Outside the shop to get some facts. <laughs> right, what's going on? Fucking hell's here. Fucking hell. You bust the door in. Can I get a piss in peace? <laughs> Score prediction. My name is Terry. His name My is Terry. Name is His Terry. name is Patrick. Jimmy Bullard. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's Patrick, of course. Score prediction, Terry. 3 1 Sunderland. Same as me. 3 1 Sunderland. Great minds. Two Terry's say 3 1. What do you say, Patrick? 2 0, mate. 2 0. Are we actually going to win? Defoe starts the day. Defoe. Unbelievable. One Defoe, one Stewart. Exactly. The only, thing, the only thing I would ask is one thing is. Speakman, forget just Speakman as a name, anybody like that who picks the players, why does the manager take the fall every single time? He has nothing to do with the, the squad that comes in, he just deals with the training, but yet takes the fall. And this club's proof that this machine of director of football and coach does not operate in our league. What's your thought of Madrox? Uh, personally, yeah. don't think it's got anything to do with it. No. I think I think it stops. I think it stops with the director of football. I think right. it stops with the coach, and I think it stops with the team. I think who owns it above that has nothing to do with it. I think if you're a player, your escape in life needs to be the best 90 minutes you can give this football club. You ever will. It should have nothing to do with who's above you. Apart from Collins, the coach. I, Excellent. All I said was two 0 <laughs> so we're going so to win. Who's going to score the goals today? <laughs> Demandy Four going to score. No, I, te I tell you what I'm going to go for. I, I, I'm going to go for Ross Stewart to score the first goal again. He got his goal again in the last game. That's I just looked. He's a class in our team at this moment in time. Struggle for a bit of confidence, but in my opinion, he's done the job. I'm going to go Jermaine Defoe. Oh, oh, he gets the ball, he scores a goal. Come on, the lads! Come on! I made the deal with my good friend Mick in the south stand. The game has been paused after three minutes due to a medical emergency. Somebody's having a bit of a bit of a hard time in the stand. I hope they're okay. I do. I really hope they're okay. Mick, how are you doing? Alright. What's the score prediction today, mate? I think we might, think we might get them this time. We've been there, lost three times through once. I think we might get them this time. Exactly, I. Before, before on the pitch straight away. So. I think. Because the crowd was so small the day, nobody expected Defoe to start. I didn't. I, I had on my whiteboard Defoe to start, but I never expected Defoe to start. Do you think we actually get into playoffs this, this season? I think it's all got to do with tonight's game. Like, if, uh, if we get through tonight, we're going to win. I think we might be able to shout, put us back up to fourth. So, uh... But tell you what, tell you what, mate, with all the storms around in England, if you want someone to fix your fences, he can fix your fence straight over here, can you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Done in seconds. All right, mate, what's the score going to be? Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, five, five, one. Two? Five, two. one, who, two? Um, Sunderland. Sunderland. What's the score going to be? Three, one, Sunderland. Oh, Three, one, oh, Sunderland. The well, the game's paused at the moment. I, I do hope that whoever's, you know, having a bad time in the stand, do recover quickly and I, I wish them all the best, I wish them all the best. So do I, it's absolutely devastating. I know, definitely not. 59 minutes gone, it's bursting one Sunderland nil. Not fucking good at all, not good at all. 
That's a good goal. Substitution, who's coming off? Evans is coming off, who's been terrible. M button's coming on. Tell you what it is, I'm past caring. I'm past caring. I'm not even going to get angry. What terrible performance yet again. Inept, lack of ideas, clueless. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's laughable, it is, it's laughable. It's finished, it's finished. Sunderland won, Burton, Albion won. And to be fair, draws probably about a fair result. Jermaine Defoe started, but we create absolutely nothing. Create absolutely nothing. And the best thing about tonight was there was somebody, unfortunately, had a cardiac arrest in the crowd and the game was stopped for about 40 minutes and after about 40 minutes the crowd erupted and there was a round of applause and apparently he was taken away and he's stable this person I say he and this person is stable so you know I do wish I do wish this person all the best I hope I hope he recovers. He recovers. I say he recovers. I, I just presume it's a, it's a it's a guy. I hope he recovers. And if this person recovers, then that is the most important thing of the night. Never mind the football. Never mind being half past eleven at night. Never mind being tired. Never mind being cold, depressed. Never mind all those things. The most important thing is a human life. And it's, it's important. I hope this person fully recovers because it's somebody's family. It's somebody's family member. Imagine somebody in your family taken bad. You're really close to. That is the most important thing in life. That is the most important thing about tonight. That this person goes home eventually and he's and the and the all right. So as much as the football was terrible, the night was bad. You know, you just you have to like have a, like a little bit of a a glimmer of a glimmer of hope that this person is you know perfectly fine. Gets around, comes around, and he's able to see his family and friends again. So touch wood that hey, this person's perfectly fine. Apart from that, the highlight after that, the highlight of my night was uh, after forty minutes of the match, I went down to the, I went down to the, the end of the turnstile and I went down and I got myself a cheeseburger and a bovril for six pound. A cheeseburger and a bovril for six pound, and they were absolutely beautiful. What can I say? Sometimes. You try things for the first time because of an unorthodox situation. And a cheeseburger from the stadium of light and a bovril was absolutely, it was, it, was, it was heaven sent. It was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. You know, you enjoy the, when you, when you see something like that happen in the crowd and you, you see somebody in real, in real dire straits, you kind of appreciate the smaller things in life. And I really enjoyed it. A burger in a bubble, you know. So there we go. It's finished 1-1. Stewart scored last couple of seconds. Did we deserve it? 
I didn't, I didn't have a draw. You know, there's more important things in life. And what I want to say as well is that I'm hopefully going to have a Bradley Lowry GoFundMe page up on the channel tonight in the description. I'll try and get it in the description. I'm going to raffle off the beers. I've actually gotten off my friend another couple of more beers. And I'll show you a photograph of them later on another night. But we'll have about four beers up for raffle. So if you want to try and, and, and donate to the Bradley Lowry Foundation, whether it's £5, whether it's £10, whether it's a, a million pounds, doesn't matter the amount, doesn't matter the amount. Whatever you donate, if you donate, you'll get one name into the hat for the beers, simple as. Whether it's five pound, 10 pound, 20, doesn't matter how much you donate. You know, if, you're got, if you've got money and you, you wanna donate it to the charity, if it's 50 pound, donate it, yeah, your name goes into the hat. If it's a fiver, donate it, your name goes into the hat for the beers. So there we go. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description for the Bradley Lowry Foundation. We're gonna try and raise some money for charity. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll do that now and those beers are up for raffle. So, you know, end of the day, it's it's one of those nights. It's been one of those nights, you know. <sighs> what can I say? There's just more important things in life than football. Take care, God bless me, God go with you, and we'll see you at the weekend. I'll be doing a live stream for the Wigan match and a preview before that. I'm going to bed now, it's 20 to 12, I'm tired. Sunderland are not going to make it the playoffs. We In that performance night, we are not we are not. We are a million miles away from being a decent side. We are a million miles away from making from the playoffs. I've now conceded myself and I'm content to be in League One next season. See you later.